everyone, and welcome back to the Jimming with your crispy video. Today we have another brand new knife from Finch called the 1929. Now before we start, as always, if you haven't already, go ahead and leave a like on this video if you want to see more videos like this from us in the future, and share this video with your friends and family. Also, if you find yourself frequently coming back to our channel, or you want to see the notifications for when new videos drop on our channel, why not consider subscribing? That aside, let's go and get straight into today's review. So this is the box the Finch 1929 comes in. We have a nice blue, gray, and black box with the Finch name and logo on the front here and on the sides of the box as well, along with the information of the knife on the bottom. Open the box, and inside the box we have a 1929 sticker, a bird flipping a Finch knife over sticker, a Finch warranty, and a band-aid in case you cut yourself. Like I will, because I make mistakes. Here we have the 1929 knife itself. That's a really cool knife. That's a beautiful handle. There are currently 10 variants of the Finch 1929, but only two variants will be available on our website as this video is released. The handle of this knife is made from abalone and has a multi-different color to it, mixed with gray, blue, and other colors. There's also no lanyard hole on the bottom as well. The handle is decently sized, so if you have bigger or smaller hands, you won't have to worry about not getting a good grip on the knife's handle. There is also a gray pocket clip on the back of the knife as well, so you can wear the knife in your pocket or on your jeans, shorts, or belt. The pocket clip is sadly not reversible. If you look closely at the inside of the handle, you can see this knife has a frame lock mechanism. So you close the knife by pushing the frame lock to the left, disengaging the lock, allowing to push the blade back inside of the handle. Moving on to the blade of the knife, the blade is made from 154cm steel and has a spade point style to it. There are no thumb studs on the blade, however there was there is a flipper tap on the back of the knife, so you can use that to open the knife with one hand still. There is also no jimping on top of the Finch 1929. It is completely flat. The blade has a satin finish to it with a flat grind. Lastly, let's go over the links and specifications of the Finch 1929. The multicolored green-blue stag abalone handle is 3.5 inches long. The 154 cm steel blade is 2.5 inches long. The overall length of the Finch 1929 is 6 inches long. The overall weight of the Finch 1929 is 3.1 ounces. Also, if you look really closely here on the bottom of the blade, you can see the Finch name is imprinted on the bottom of the blade. It's a really cool addition. And that is about it for today's review. Like I said at the beginning of the video, there are currently 10 different variants of the Finch 1929. However, the only new two variants will be available on our website when this video releases, including this variant, which will be available. If you all have enjoyed today's review, please consider leaving a like on the video. It's gr we greatly appreciate it. And subscribe to the channel if you want to see notifications for when new videos and posts drop on our channel. Thank you all for watching today's review, and I hope all of you have a great rest of your day.